Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the polynomial lines within the click view. So you might have seen the different types of trend lines uh, and how to use them within the click view like the average line or maybe the linear line which is pretty straightforward just to show us what is the average from the different data points that you have or the linear trend whether upward or downward up these particular data points are showing um, <clears throat> in the data set so but in this case we also have the option of choosing the polynomial lines and they are second degree third degree and fourth degree so to understand what I'm talking about let's first go into quickly into this chart properties and see this trend line section within the expression tab and I just talked about the average and linear which shows the average from the data set line or linear upward or downward from the data points that you are showing and then we have the option of choosing polynomial of second degree third degree fourth degree and exponential so in this video I'm talking about these different polynomial lines and here in this case I have chosen the second polynomial of second degree so why I have chosen that I mean what is how we need to make sure that what kind of trend line we need to show I could have shown the linear or maybe the average line as per my you know uh, just to show how the trend is and instead of uh, second degree polynomial so what forced me to choose the polynomial so in this video I will help you understand uh, that when you are looking at a type of data what trend line you should choose so as we are just focusing on the polynomial let's focus let's just discuss about you know the different degrees of polynomial you need to choose based on looking at the data points that are getting plotted over the chart so here in this case polynomial you can see it's kind of a circular fashion the data is plotted kind of a circular fashion where first it is bit low then going high then making a top and then showing a downward trend now looking at this it, it does not represent any linear kind of a trend so that option is kind of a uh, not in consideration similarly average you can show if it is if it is uh, giving you the meaningful result but the better representation is the second degree polynomial so what does second degree polynomial shows it's basically when you look at your data points and you see that how many hills or valleys that it makes so what does that mean is how many high points or the low points it makes in the data point in the data set or on that variable then you need, you can choose the second degree polynomial or third degree or fourth degree so here in this case it has just made only one high point or one uh, basically hill then in that case we have chosen the second degree polynomial if I show you the third degree polynomial you can see that it has make one valley or one low point and one high point or one hill so because it has made these two data points or one high or one low data point it is basically showing second degree of polynomial and in the last case third degree fourth degree polynomial we see that it has made one low one high and again one low so in that case these are the three data points that you are able to observe from the data set that's why you have gone ahead and chosen the fourth degree polynomial so if I right click go into the properties go into the expression and see choosing the fourth degree so overall the idea is that how many highs or lows your data points are making and then based on that we go ahead and choose the different level of degree of polynomial if it is just one high point or one low point then second degree if it is one high and one low then you go ahead and choose the third degree and if you have three data points representing either low or first low or high or second low or high and third low or high 
then you can go ahead and choose the fourth degree of polynomial which will represent a better trend line as compared to average or linear so if i for the representation if i just go ahead and choose the let's say average in this case fourth degree and hit apply it doesn't reflect anything it's simply going and saying okay this is what your average is but sometimes it is meaningful that's why i said if you can go ahead and show the average because it just shows the average of the data however from a trend line perspective it is very important that it should match the data points which have been plotted on the chart so in that case if i select linear here in this case and try to figure out a linear trend then however it is showing that there is an upward trend which can be meaningful in some scenario but when you are fitting the data points that you have this is basically a cyclical pattern first the cycle is going down then up and then it is going down and in that case linear trend may be very misleading so that's why we don't choose the linear in this case but the polynomial to show the kind of the variation data points are showing based on their cyclical pattern in nature. So that's quickly I wanted to talk about the polynomial about when to use and show you the different data points. So whenever you see uh, this these kind of cyclical pattern uh, in a nutshell that if it is one cyclical pattern or two cyclical pattern or three third degree of cyclical pattern then accordingly uh, you can choose second degree third degree and fourth degree of polynomial trend lines so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video and i hope you have found it useful uh, about how to use polynomial and when to use it and i'll meet you in the new video with the new topic